Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Out of New East Alabama and West Georgia, welcome to your Monday morning. Time to get back in the swing of things and head off to school and work this morning. Coming up in this edition of your primetime forecast, we'll let you know how much rain we expect this week. We are keeping an eye on the tropics for the upcoming Labor Day weekend and a sneak peek at your Friday night football forecast. All coming up this morning in this edition of your primetime forecast for Monday, August. 29, 2022. From the Alpha Weather Center, Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Be sure you hit that link at the top of this video or call Jamie today to get your name in the drawing for our next giveaway coming up on Dr. Don's Weather. Also, make sure that you head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe so that you'll get that push notification the next time we go live for severe weather. It's very important to hit that little bell. So here we go for today. Just general scattered thunder across the southeastern United States. I think most of you will not see a drop of rain today in East Alabama or West Georgia. But boy, look up there in the Windy City, up there around Chicago, Illinois. We have something you don't see very very often. That is an enhanced risk outlook area up there in northern Illinois across the southwestern Great Lakes and then down there or Lake Michigan and then across northwest Indiana up there around Gary, Indiana. Big storms expected later on today. That uh, is going to be something to watch up there. Uh, yeah, but no issues here across East Alabama or West Georgia. You have to forgive me. Sometimes the geekness takes over uh, when we're talking about weather. Uh, then as we head toward Tuesday, a marginal risk of the northeastern portion of the United States. General scattered across East Alabama and West Georgia. Again, uh, maybe about a 50% chance of rain for most of us tomorrow afternoon, but no big deal. And then as we head toward Wednesday, we're looking at um, probably mostly sunny skies across East Alabama and West Georgia, though there will be a few scattered thunderstorms out there across the area. Take a look at the tropics this morning. That's where all the action is, and this is exactly uh, what the models have been telling us now for two or three weeks, and that is, get ready. It's going to get active out in the tropics, uh, but you know, again, folks, that far out, you can't pay attention to exact placement of anything. And, and this is why. For the last uh, couple of weeks, the uh, Monday morning quarterback club meteorologists have been screaming, oh, it's going to be bad Labor Day weekend. We're going to have storms all over. We're going to have tropical systems. We may have two hurricanes out there. And they've been hyping all this junk. Uh, and here we are about five days away from that weekend and we do have a lot of systems on the board but here's the deal that one you see down there in the caribbean number three has very little chance of developing into anything because it's about to interact with the mountainous region there across the yucatan peninsula it's probably not going to do anything uh, number two is going north and eventually northeast it's out of here Number four is about a week and a half, maybe two weeks away. It hasn't even come off the African coast just yet. So the one to watch is number one. All, and I mean just about every last one of the medium and long range models this morning are suggesting that one probably will develop, but it's gonna curve back to the north and eventually northeast. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem for the United States. At least that's the way it looks right now. There's certainly time for that to change. Uh, but over the last couple of two or three years, the Hurricane Center's gotten pretty good with forecasting the eventual track of storms. So at the moment, they're showing number one curving back to the north and then back to the northeast. And uh, if I were a betting man, I would take that one. I think that's a pretty good uh, bet. And, and there's a look uh, at what we're talking about here. 
You can see that the track takes it uh, just to the west of the Bahamas, and then we curve really hard back to the north and eventually northeast, uh, which means that the only thing we'll see off of this, if this track does verify, maybe some rough seas across the Florida and Georgia east coast, uh, maybe the Carolinas and uh, up into Virginia. Yeah, but no big deal. So as it stands right this moment, it doesn't look as though we're going to be dealing with anything Labor Day weekend. So you folks who have beach plans, rock on, my friend. Have a good time. Eh, keep a check on the weather forecast. <laughs> you can never completely let your guard down. But right now, yeah, I don't see anything to be concerned about as far as tropical action is concerned. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company this morning. We have 70 degrees. The high temperature yesterday was 89. We have fair skies. The wind is out of the southeast uh, at zero at the moment, but occasionally gusting one to two miles per hour. Humidity 98%, the barometric pressure 30.02. No rain the past 24 hours. Sunrise this morning is 612, sets this evening at 711 p.m. Headed for 89 in the Roanoke, about 89 also in Ashland, Lineville, Widawi, Woodland, 88 up in Ranford, 91 in Talladega, and Alexander City tops out this afternoon at 91 degrees. It will be a warm day across East Alabama and West Georgia. So your six-day forecast, hey, look at that. We've got a couple of days of full-blown sunshine coming up this week. Today, pretty much the same. I mean, we're looking for lots of sunshine today, maybe a few high-level clouds, and there could be a stray shower or two uh, this afternoon. 20% chance, 89 will be the high temperature. And then 10% uh, chance of rain through about 7 p.m. this evening. Then we go to a 50% chance of showers on Tuesday, 90 degrees the high tomorrow, 20% chance of rain Tuesday night, and then look at Wednesday and Thursday, virtually no chance of rain, mostly sunny both days. Unfortunately, here comes our next rain chance on Friday. It's only 50%, so even odds that we will or will not see a shower, and then we'll hold on to a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms through high school football on Friday night. Yeah, it's just Monday. We got time to change that, so we're going to work on it for you and uh, try to get that chance of rain lowered. Yeah, this is pretty typical for this time of year. We always deal with showers and thunderstorms, uh, uh, really the first half of high school football season. And then on Saturday, a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, 83 near high out there on Saturday. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar this morning. Scanning uh, the entire southeastern United States, we have showers and thunderstorms down there around St. Mary's, back up to Brunswick, and then right along the Georgia east coast up to around Savannah, Hilton Head, South Carolina, and then up to around Charleston. And then we have a few scattered showers out on the Florida west coast uh, from Tampa all the way back up to the Big Bend area. Looking pretty good this morning across the Alabama and northwest Florida coast. And we see no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia at this hour. Be sure you follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com, where you can download the brand new Dr. Don weather app. And also in the upper right hand corner of our homepage, there you can send us some love by clicking on that donate button. If you're on Facebook, the easiest way to show that love is to send us those Facebook stars. Hey, don't forget to catch my daily weather forecast over on on God's Country, 90.9 FM, and the classic 89.7, East Alabama's classic rock giant. Thank you, Mr. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction. Mr. Jimmy is one of our partners here on Dr. Don's Weather, as well as Miss Donna McKay, the town of Wadley in downtown Wadley. If you or someone you know owns a business and you'd like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather, just send me a message on Messenger, and we can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, will come first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather.